today i come to you as a prophet and i want to warn you do not go back there until a name listen hello everybody it's ishmael and your priest and i welcome you to today's video now you must listen very well what is going on here you must not go back do not go back i don't care where you are going back but do not go back right now i want to give you an absolute instruction that you must obey and you must understand when you don't obey uh, in my whole life i have never had any single man of god preaching this the way it is or saying this let me tell you it is by god and by reading the scriptures i have learned and i've realized all we've been told is that sinning will get you punished but let me tell you this obeying an instruction is as the same as the sin of witchcraft meaning by you not obeying you are setting yourself for a huge did you hear what i said a huge fail and most christians today they are guilty of such they just feel like god does not love them uh the lord does not care uh the lord to uh the lord uh, sometimes i don't understand christianity you don't obey the instruction i'm not talking about sinning right now I'm talking about the instruction that you have been given. An instruction is the most number one thing that can determine on whether God blesses you further or he dethrones you or he lets you get stuck in that situation. Just as simple as that. If you can yield to an instruction, there is no room for sinning. That is why an instruction is it over it covers it overcomes everything else that you might feel okay but what if i take an instruction but i sin which one is better listen you cannot sin whereas you have taken an instruction if god said do not eat this food or else it's a sin before my eyes then you indeed you obey how can you sin while you obey the instruction just like the bible is an instruction manual you know what is sinful and what is not. It's just almost like if, personally, I was to describe, you have what I said, right? I would say the Bible is a secondary instruction manual to the voice of God himself. To when God says it directly. If God is not saying it directly right now, it's by his, you got what I'm saying? then listen read the while what the bible says and you do as such you won't go wrong these two they are the ones that are dominating the voice of god and the bible if it is let's just use the word for now if god is lazy to talk he will use the bible i'm like come on just read there it's almost like when you instruct somebody to do something for you and they don't understand you be like ah read the instruction is there you want to simplify answering each and every person's question that is why in products that you buy there is an instruction there's a manual book for instructions how to use they want to avoid situations where countless and millions of calls will be coming how do i how do i they be like just read we know you can read most of you so just read there you won't go wrong it will work and today likewise i am telling you and i am giving you there is your instruction that you have to obey at the end of the day you feel like sometimes you know what's the problem with christians today too much arrogance as much as there are too much or too many religions let me use the word religion for now okay religions where some people they don't believe in praying for the sick they just go to church and they praise and they, they are done some they believe, believe just like the pentecostal churches so there are different types and some of these churches each one of them i can tell you that they have their own advantage and disadvantages in which those that they do not do those praying and stuff they have an advantage where in some situations they can't be arrogant because they won't put themselves in a firing line whereas the pentecostals at times they practice faith where they were not supposed to for instance such a situation it was not a matter of you don't have faith or not it was just a matter of obeying that is why 
people when they look at god since he is the almighty nothing is impossible with him most christians have a mindset that i can always ask i can always believe for anything and we're gonna do it forgetting to also note and know that and learn to hear what he is saying about it paul was smart enough to know that as he was asking for healing it was safe to ask what is god's response and the god's response was that my grace is sufficient meaning don't expect me to heal you from that sickness or else paul could have prayed all his life and never even received the healing because it was not god's will for him personally you heard what i said right for him personally someone else could have asked for healing and they got healed just like how they managed to heal some people in the bible even though they the apostle even paul himself jesus knew so well that as much as he was a bit terrified to go to the cross as he prayed lord are you willing for the cup to pass me for me not to go to the cross then respond me O oh lord if it is your will it's okay if it is, if you are you are willing not for me to go it's also fine so let your will what do you say and god said you have to go there and only thing that could happen was for the angel to strengthen jesus so that he can face the situation you have to but had jesus prayed and not had god he would have prayed lord i pray not to go to the cross do something else done not hearing what the lord is saying back now which brings me to the main thing of this word i want to tell you that same applied instead of standing in boldness and claiming that ah this is the son of god herod you cannot kill this baby if you try to touch you're gonna die he heeded to the instruction god himself was willing to say run hide the baby in egypt until i call you out until i not until you feel like you want to apply faith i just because i don't have enough faith let me go out no he would have gotten the baby killed or something we don't know what god would have done but it would have been a disobedience to the instruction moses had to run from egypt up until god himself said go back to egypt for those who were seeking your life are dead not the other way around that you know what lord i'm going in faith they won't kill me they won't recognize me they will i will be invincible they would have forgotten erase their memories erase my memories uh from their heads or their brains whatever god said we're going to take the long road until they die he knows that ah these ones they're gonna die in 15 years time so i dead with jesus we don't know how long maybe two years jesus was hidden and god was like ah it's gonna take five years for this man to die so okay but i didn't want they would have killed him but so you see how god works the lord does not work according to how we think he works according to how the bible described it a bible was there for to help us at least have an idea on how god operates that yes indeed in some situations he can perform a miracle just like that and in some situations he will decide not to do it like that in some situations he will take, decide to take longer he promised abraham a promised child but it took more than 20 years for that promised child to be fulfilled some they say it's even 25 years for that matter but it was more than 20 years he promised today he does it after 20 years can you imagine how much 20 years is that uh, uh, wouldn't you be discouraged let's be honest 20 years okay try to recall how what was happening in your life 20 years ago you will see how long it took tell me wouldn't you have started doubting naturally so even myself i would have even forgotten i would have started to doubt i wouldn't have seen the reason for god to rush into telling me about that but god was preparing something he did to the instruction that is why i said in the title of the video until you hear the name until you hear your cue the bible said i called or uh, let me put it like out of egypt i called my son that is when jesus got out of egypt that is when joseph and mary took the baby or the child out of egypt and they went back home finally after they learned that herod is dead after being told that it is clear now you can go the coast is clear like when soldiers are in a war it is clear captain commander sir just like that that is how we work with god listen to what he is saying 
Do not get back together with that person unless God has directly told you so. Don't you have a weakness of heart and you feel like, oh, but uh, maybe it was meant to be. Uh, and they break your heart further. Maybe sometimes it gets deeper. You end up getting sick. You end up like, oh, and only you realize hey, that I shouldn't have given this person another chance. Who told you to? Don't go back. If something ends, accept that it could be God. Unless if God confirms it directly. Not you projecting the answer to him. That, ah, oh, but I'm praying. I want it to be so. Uh, and you, you, you give yourself an answer. You try to justify that it could be God, whereas it's not. Let God directly direct you. So that even when you encounter a challenge, you know that this is just a challenge, not, not that it is not God's will. And you will know you're not on the wrong. So the simple instruction is this. What has God told you? What is your instruction? Don't go back. Someone you wanted to go back somewhere. Someone you would want to go back somewhere. Listen, wait until God directs it instruct you and tells you it is safe he names the time he names the place he names the person then you can go confidently so i bless you in the name of jesus christ amen and of course that's all i had mighty tales on the comment section below see you next time